Good morning, it's turned out nice again. Mother, how's it going guys, you all right? Just got back from cafe, oh God. It was one of those days yesterday, you know what I mean? So I had to go and get like a, a cooked breakfast. Sober me up a little bit. Isn't that right, Remy? Yes. I wish you could speak. Mm. Nice is that. How are you doing? You all right? Let's give some shout outs to the lovely people that supported me yesterday. Sorry, I mean, it's from my age. Um, we had Alex Alvarado. He said FSG is a fucking joke. Capital letters. Thank you, Alex. Graham Summers as well, uh, which I think I might have given a, uh, a shout out to yesterday, actually. Yeah, I think I did. Uh, and David Coleman as well. They were from previous, so... I think it was just the one super thanks yesterday, you know, the love art thing. Uh, and that was Alex. So thank you for that, brother. Uh, I had a couple on the stream as well yesterday. We did a stream yesterday afternoon before I went out. Paul Ray, uh, he's been a Cop Talk VIP member for decades. Um, he's been very supportive of me over the years. I really love Paul. Um, so it was nice to see him on the stream. He doesn't come on um, very often. Uh, and also M87, uh, which was nice. So thanks for that, guys. I do appreciate it. Uh, we didn't do a stream last night because I was out, uh, but we'll do one today, two o'clock, and we'll do one at seven, I think. Mm. Just watching Remy. So yesterday, I uh, I met up with Bride Partridge and uh, his beautiful girlfriend, fiance, uh, Laura, and um, much alcohol was consumed. And... Um, for those of you that don't know, Brian Partridge, you know, he's been a member uh, for many years, very supportive uh, of my YouTube channel, my website, everything really, me in general. And um, he's a really good guy, solid guy. And he's out here on holiday uh, with his girl. And I think it's the third time I've met them now. Uh, you know, they're based down in Benidorm on holiday, but they came up to my town uh, for the cup final the other day. Uh, and it was so good that we said, let's do it again before you go back. So we met yesterday. Uh, and some of my friends that met them at the cup final also came out with them being here. Um, and it was a really, really good night. You know, the guitar was out, people playing music. Uh, my friend was there that's visiting, uh, that's a magician. Uh, I think at one point we must have had in excess of 20 people sat at our little tables, whatever. So it was a brilliant night. Uh, everyone loves Brian, Laura, uh, me especially. Um, it was just really good and my friends and people were saying like, oh yeah, you know, how do you know each other? You know, and I had to explain, I said, oh, well, you know, through, through my work really, you know, that, that, well, that's the only reason. Uh, and, and my friends were like, they thought it was amazing. Do you know what I mean? That you could make such good friends through my work. Because my friends don't really understand my work too much, you know what I mean? They're not like tech savvy people, you know, uh, and, and they're a bit older, but I'm not saying that, you know, to be smart or anything, I'm just saying that computers and technology is not really their shit, do you know what I mean? Um, so when I mentioned I'm doing a stream on a Saturday night, they don't get it, they don't understand it too much, you know what I'm saying? Um, but they just thought it was amazing that you could, you know, make friends like that. And obviously they know about when I went to Dublin recently to see Dale, another, you know, someone else that's watched my videos for, year that I con for years that I consider a friend. They, they think it's amazing, they really do. So, it, you know what, it was just a really good time. Uh, and I was sat there thinking about it, about the, you know, the bad times. Because there there's good times to do with running cop talk and there's bad times as well. You know, when things go wrong or, uh, you know, the, the financial, you know, worries because you've got to generate revenue, you've got bills to pay. And if it's quiet, how do you pay them? That kind of thing. Um, drama that crops up occasionally, usually only about once a decade, which is fucking plenty, to be honest with you. Um, but I was thinking, you know, it, you know, one more thing as well is when Liverpool are doing, not doing too good or there's a, a, a drama running alongside the daily news of the club, if you like, whether it's to do with the owners or a manager, you know, underperforming, will he get sacked, will he get sacked, that sort of thing. Thinking back to Brendan Rodgers and that, when all the fans start arguing, it's like, I don't really like it. But I was sat there last night and I was thinking, do you know what, despite the little, you know, the ups and downs or whatever, just to be in company with... You know, just good people like that, just from meeting them through it through this is great. And that applies to you. You know, you can be a part of this uh, community and what we have here. Uh, you know, you're more than welcome, uh, you know, 
I, I just like meeting people to do with the website and everything. It's just great. And obviously we spoke about Liverpool, you know, uh, just, just, I enjoyed it. You can tell I enjoyed it, right? But it, you know, it was a late night. Uh, I can't remember what time they left, probably around midnight or something like that. Uh, I came home, just went to bed. It was good, enjoyed it. Ooh. But now I'm all over and it's very, very hot, as you can probably tell. Um, so yeah, I think we'll be in the pool today. Hey, do you know what I did yesterday, guys? I went to the gym. Fucking did, look. Look, I went to the gym, I got my membership card. Look, it's even got my name on it, it must be true. I went to the gym yesterday. My mates are right, like he's like built, for, you know what I mean? And uh, he persuaded me to go. Fucking oh, I was in agony, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, it was good fun. So yeah, I haven't really got much to tell you guys, to be honest, other than we'll do a live stream at two o'clock today and seven o'clock this evening. Um, I would like to make some videos for you. There are some things I, I, I want to discuss today. Um, I think some people didn't understand my um, my Lenny Oro vid yesterday. Um, we had a lot of Manchester United fans uh, in the comments yesterday taking the piss, obviously. There were some nice Manchester United fans as well, though, mature. Uh, and some of them subscribed to the channel, which is nice, you know. You might find that a bit weird, but, um, you know, I do. I like to listen to fans of other clubs as well. Uh, you know, and as much as they're our enemy and rivals, I, I acknowledge that Manchester United are a, a, a massive club. You know, and I'm glad it exists because you need your rivals in football. We did get some knobheads on, you know what I mean? But they're probably younger or a bit immature, you know. Um, but the, the video yesterday, which I, I probably touch on today, wasn't so much about me being upset that uh, Lenny Oro might go to our rivals. I'm really not interested in Lenny Oro, to be honest with you. I couldn't give a fuck. It was the fact that the media, um, obviously fed by, you know, people within Anfield, we're bringing up this, like, he's a once-in-a-generation talent or something. And, uh, you know, Liverpool would do anything to sign a player like this. This is what we were told. Anything. But they're not going to because he's off to Real Madrid. You know, the club doesn't think he can. And then he does become available. Um, or appears to be. I haven't read the, the, any updates this morning. I've been off for my brekkie. And then, you know, why aren't Liverpool there? You know, some people say, no, the wage is ridiculous. Well, in the comments, people say, is it 25,000 more than Joe Gomez, mate? Knock it off. I don't know. I'm not really interested in, in Lenny Yoro. It's just, a, it's just the way that the club manage expectations. Like, oh, we'd do everything to sign this player if we could. But they actually didn't. You know what I mean? So, I know what I'm talking. It just reminds me of the Bellingham stuff. I know I'm rude, but I'm dehydrated. Right. <clears throat> I'm going to have a lie down for half an hour, I think. Um, two o'clock and seven o'clock today. Saturday night steaming, streaming this weekend, this Saturday. Uh, 7.30 UK time. Come along. Don't be going out anywhere on Saturday. Bring a bottle. Bring some uh, song suggestions. I'm going to have a good laugh. I told all the boys yesterday. I said, that's it. I won't be out now. Uh, I don't think I'll be out again this month, to be honest with you. Uh... My chick's coming over on, well, 28th, which I think is a Sunday. Uh, so I won't be going out and getting until she's here, I think. So you've got me until then now. All right, uh, that's it, guys. Anything that you'd like me to touch on, please let me know. Uh, drop me a comment. If you appreciate the video, please thumbs up the video. Um, and if you want to buy me a, a coffee, not a beer, uh, please hit the super thanks button, the love out under the video. I'll give you a shout out in tomorrow morning's briefing. Although, in fairness, you can buy me a beer for Saturday. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but right now, I don't want a beer. I'm just tired. I'm not really on over. I'm just tired. What a fucking great day yesterday was. What a great day. And do you know the other thing? I must say this as well. My friend said to Brian Laura, uh, you know, you don't be staying in an hotel again. You know, if you can't stay, don't. Because I, I offer them to stay here. You know, they're, they're very welcome here. Uh, but, you know, when you're a couple, you might want your own privacy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and you might want to be in the resort where all the action is. But I think they've done that now, and I think they're ready to venture out a little bit. So, you know, I think they probably will stay here at uh, one time. Um, but my friends were saying, you know, in the bar, they were saying, Russ was saying to them, like, you know, you've got friends here now, whether Dunk's here or not, you know what I mean? Like, they don't have to go to that bar because I'm there. They can go there any time, and people would remember them and welcome them. And Russ was saying, you know, we've got room at our house. You can stay at our house, you know, here. 
Uh, so it's a it nice start, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm proud of my friends as well. So um, I, I enjoyed it. And I'm sure you're watching this, Brian, Laura. I just want to thank you so much for your friendship and for the support you've given me uh, on a personal level and also, uh, you know, through the channel or whatever. And thank you for bringing vodka. I've got it here, look. <laughs> I won't be drinking it, though. Not till Saturday, maybe. They, whenever they come to see me, they always bring me uh, a bottle uh, of vodka. And oh, oh, oh. hey, so look at that, guys. Look at that. Oh, that's a bit rude, isn't it? Uh, but look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, look, you must know the story behind this vodka. Do you remember him? I'm not going to tell you. Does anyone remember the story behind that? Google it. Google that and the ball boy. Amazing story, that. Absolutely amazing. It makes drinking that um, even sweeter, even nicer. I love success stories. Right. Shall we go, Remy? Shall we go? Oh, I wish you could see Remy. They, they, they can't see you. You want to jump up? Jump up. See if you jump. Jump. Go on. Oh, 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 oh. Just, just, just about see you. Let's have a look. There he is. <laughs> right, we're off. All right, guys. Take it easy. Have a good day. Uh, and I'll see you at two o'clock this afternoon.